This time on Custom Works, we're looking at the front of the meat wagon. That problem bit of roof that's never really looked right. We're gonna get that sorted. And also, I'm gonna show you how I made this. So, let's get to the workshop, the tent shop. It's actually a tent, a tent, the cold tent that I'm working in. The, let's get there. Excuse the sound of the rain, it's really cold and it's raining in the tent. But what we're looking at, front of the meat wagon. Now, done a lot of work on this and a lot of sanding, and this really is the it's like the final part of the entire vehicle. This still a little bit rough and ready, and I don't quite know where I'm going with it. Actually, I know exactly where I'm going with it. I just don't quite know I'm gonna get there. So first off, this it's got such a better curve in it than this. This is really low and quite flat. This comes a little bit higher. <clears throat> and then it's up down is a little bit better. So I've got to make this side the same. But first what I need to do is um, work out how much different this is. So my plan is I'm going to roll the piece of aluminium up here and then hopefully backfill this side and then it'll all look okay. Hopefully that'll work. Let's see if it does. Right then, so, I need this side to look like this side. And what I did think, I could bend a piece of aluminium and whatever it bent to this side, it will be there. But it, it just follows both sides, so it gains me nothing. So what I'm gonna do, I'll put this piece of dye bond on, and with Bondo filler, I'm gonna stick loads of these on edge, all the way along it, That'll, make, that'll give it triangulation, making like a T-section, and then that'll dry, and I'll be able to move this from there to there, and I will have exactly the same shape on both sides. And, of course, super important, it's like the front of the truck. This has got to be spot on. Well, near to spot on as I ever get, but it's got to be quite good. together, give that 10 minutes, should be dried and we should have a perfect sort of index of that shape to transfer to that side. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's what's going to happen. I think that's what's going to happen. I don't know if you're going to zoom, that's what's going to happen. Right, and so, all dry, I've took the screws out, so I'm going to move it across, and that looks like it's holding the shape pretty good. Place it on there. And as I feared, we are out some. What's that like? That's got to be up to about 12 mil out on that. So, now we've got that, we know that's the same shape as that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this inside with masking tape. And then I'll put some filler on there. And then I'll drop that onto the filler and that will give them as, as a dating point for the correct level and the correct curve on both sides. So then, as you can see, we've got this massive gap in it and we've got to fill it and it's got to be exactly this shape. So, Going in with a filler. Now what I've done with this, I've put a screw there, screw there. I've also taped, put a screw at the back, just as, so as I'm pressing with the filler spreader, I don't like shove this over. 
What I'm looking to do is get as much filler splurged under there as I possibly can. Right, and so all this filler's set, got a thing on there, so I'm going to take the two screws out, and hopefully this will just pull off, and we will have the same thickness both sides. And there we go, we now have, that is the shape of the other side. So what I'll do now is just a light sand just to take this sort of like edge off of it and then I'll backfill this at that height, back to here and then that's all like that. I'm making this form up. We've got both sides exactly the same. So, um, last night I put this piece of dye bond in and what this has done is uh, this front had more of a sort of dynamic shape to it uh, but this has flattened it out nice and I'm going to do the same grill as I did on the back on the front using this sort of like 10 mil square UPVC and I will screw that on there and bond it on and we'll have the same cool grill effect on the front of the roof as we've got on the back. So, oh my god, that was so hard. For some reason, it's really difficult to get the screws through. Probably because there's so many layers of dye bond and fiberglass that the roof is like just bulletproof strong. But anyway, got those on, and uh, in this section, we're going to finish all the way up to there. But you'll have to use your imagination because in my local area, I bought all of this that there is. So, um, I'm not going to be getting this done today. Anyway, we will return to this at a later date. <laughs> And so this is like the bullet thing that goes at the side of the thing that's going to have the company name on it, this light boxing. And all of this has been made out of bits laying around. So obviously there's a lot of dye bond on it. And there's this tub and this bullet. And then it sits in here. And this at the minute has all been painted in... This is painted at the minute in stone fleck paint. You know that sort of thing you spray onto a plastic plant pot to make it look like it's made of stone? That's this stuff. The reason for that will become clear as we move through this. But at the minute, I'm not bothered about that. I'm just bothered about making another. Um, and hopefully I can remember how I did it. This one's great, and now I've got to do one for the other side. You know what? If you've done one side of your car and you think, oh, what a nightmare, I've got to do the other side car. Yeah, I get that as well. Once I've done one side, I've barely any interest in doing the other. I've seen what I look like, looks awesome, great, let's move on. No, you've got to make the other side. Oh. It's all the same, but just like it's in a mirror. So, let's get on, let's make one of these. So then, if my memory serves me right, half the time it doesn't, but if it does, I think what I made that what from was one of these pots that cutting discs come in and then one off 
It's a very slippery customer. Um, one of these, which is a bullet made from my bullet mould. And how this came about, I often need bullets this big. So I made a bullet this big out of um, plaster and stuff, turned it all in the lathe. Then I made a mould of it. And then I made, um, the, basically I got the mould. And then I can mould as many of these bullets as I want now. So that's where that comes from. So that with that, then some things on it. Dead easy. So first off, I think I cut this lip off. So let's get that done. And now we need to remove this sticker and rough everything up. If you're ever using particularly plastic, and make sure everything's really roughed up good with uh, the rough sanding disc because stuff don't stick to plastic. And that thing seems to st have stuck out there very well. Um, I've ground pretty much every surface that I may, may wish to glue to, so that's going to go on there. So what I now need to do is mark around this when it's the same size as this and cut it off. So I think if I do that, it don't, it don't bottom out on that, I'll mark around there and that's where I need to cut the bullet. So I've trimmed that off and that, uh, oh, wait a minute, it's okay, that end. Yeah, so that fits nicely on there. So now what I'll do, I should super glue that on there and leave that for a bit and then grind it all up and it will all fit together as if by magic. It's glued on there. Um, what I'm going to do though, I'm going to give it sort of like 15 20 minutes so it's fully dry. So I'm going to run the grind around that, and uh, this sort of glue, um, mitre bond, or any sort of super glue, any cycrylate sort of base glue, dries from the outside in. So even when it looks dry like all this does, this is so going to get stuck to my hand, and the rest of this is going to be in like A and E, isn't it? But, um, yeah, it dries on the outside, but it's never quite dry on the inside. So if ever you're going to have to grind a bit off, just make sure it is uh, dry. Also, I'd say grinding, um, what's it, cycrylate glues down, um, it gives off a, a, like a gas that will make your eyes run. Um, I don't know if you're meant to do that. Perhaps don't ever do any of that. Just watch me, laugh, think, look at that man, he's taking all the risks. Oh yeah. Idiot, just an idiot. Okay then, so we had a bit of a problem. We have this bullet here, and we want to fit this bullet on the other side. But where does it go? Well, I'll tell you where it doesn't go. It doesn't go on the end of the bit that did come out before. As you see just here, so this goes on, and this was way too high. So we've cut this part of the body out and we now need to angle this down and bring this back until it's right and then glass and refill all of that. You don't ever want to do any of this? Never build a car because this stuff's going to happen all the time. So we have, oh my God, how much work to get this to be level. I still don't think it's dead square on there, but we've had to drop this moulding all the way down to here 
what I've had to do is grind out a massive amount of fiberglass around here. And what I've done, I've, I'm just filling the hole with filler. Literally just to get it done. And then I'll glass over this area. And then we'll refill this and refeather that into this panel. And that should be alright. But this, this has been a bad mistake. Particularly a bad mistake on like the coldest day ever. Because the filler don't dry. <laughs> we'll get there though and it'll be cool. Right, and so I've now moved this and blended it in and <clears throat> all I've done, I've just sanded it with the angle grinder. So it's still pretty rough. Now, as I always say, you can't just build a car out of bits of stuff and bondo. So I'm going to go over this, only in one layer, but just in case, I'm going to go over with this piece of fiberglass mat. And what we'll do is we'll resin that on and then tomorrow we'll be able to sand this down and the bullet rocket thingy thing has moved 30 millimeters <laughs> and uh, then we can put the fins on it so what i'm going to do first i'm going to put some um, resin on here da, 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 da. i'm sure we've seen all this before what this will do though, all that stuff on there is going to tie it all together and make it super solid. Just so we get no sort of hairline cracks in the future or anything like that. And uh, excuse me, I'm on an incredibly, incredibly creaky hop up thing. Um, because basically I couldn't get the stuff to finish it and there was other problems and there was that absolute nightmare with that bullet which I thought was going to be like I don't know maybe like an hour's work or something and just to put right what was already wrong took me four hours because it's freezing cold the filler won't go off it was way worse than I thought so not the best week for wins definitely a week of fails the shop will restock with that plastic stuff and I'll get round to that. I'm sure I'll get everything to dry. So, you know, the, the thing is, never get too downhearted. Everything works out in the end. Are you ready for the Christmas party season? Well, you're going to need something to cover up that tan you got. In the summer, we're like, your body's all white, but your arms are all brown, but you don't want to cover your brown arms. What you need is a t-shirt. Just covers the body, reveals the arm. You can look awesome at every single Christmas party, wedding, funeral, bar mitzvah, ship launch. All of that. If you buy one of these t-shirts, these t-shirts are back in our Etsy store. They got this on the back. They got this on the front. And wait, that's not all. That's not all you get. You don't just get a t-shirt to cover up those tan lines if you're going to get crazy at the Christmas party. Hey, the orders between now and Christmas come with this free sticker. Stick it anywhere. Stick it Stick it on your own t-shirt, make out you got two t-shirts. Or maybe you could save a ship from sinking. Hey, everyone's life saved. Buy now from our Etsy store. We got small, medium, large, extra large, and above for all you guys who are just a hunk of hunk of burning love. Remember all the details of where you're going to buy these t-shirts from is down and underneath in the description and you can go to our Etsy store because Etsy store is where they're what binds for. And also we'll only be printing this on these t-shirts. This design will never be printed again so buy now to save disappointment. This batch of gone, there will be no more of this design. So that is it from Custom Works for another week. I want to say to everyone out there who wished me happy birthday over Facebook and Insta, uh, thank you very much, I am not worthy. Don't forget to tune in next week, click subscribe, do that bell icon thing to get regular updates. Also leave a comment down below and give us a big thumbs up. It really, really helps. Get us on that algorithm. Okay then, so. 
between now and next week. Time will block you in This time on Roadkill, we're working no, on Roadkill. I was thinking about Roadkill, I was trying to channel Fry Burger. <laughs>